One thing we haven't done in previous videos is work through uh, how to join tracks together that you may have recorded on your on your travels. So you your uh, tablet will be recording each day, and we'll store those uh, track logs in a daily track log format on the tablet. And so if you've done a big trip and you might be away for a week or two weeks or six months, it doesn't matter. Uh, every time you turn the tablet on, it will record. And if you can then get those uh, daily log files back into one large file, you'll end up with a, a plot of the entire trip, which is really handy to put back into the computer and um, show you know people where the whole, the whole trip is rather than have to fish through and find every single day. So let's have a look at how we do that. I've got Internet Explorer, uh, sorry, uh, File Explorer open here, and I've got my Galaxy Tab hooked up to the computer. So if I go into the uh, tablet, all the maps are stored on the card as we've seen before. The track logs are actually on the tablet under the Aussie Explorer directory here, and the data directory, and then track logs. Um, you can see I've got a lot here and I've sorted them into uh, folders of where we've been and things like that. But if we scroll back down and have a look at a lot of these uh, older uh, track files, um, these are the ones that, that I want to uh, take for a whole trip, but let's just pick four of them. And it's a lot easier to take these from the tablet and put them onto the uh, desktop computer and then you can load them into Aussie in bulk. If you try and load them in uh, bulk from the tablet for some reason it only accepts one at a time which is a bit tedious. So what I do is uh, would, would copy all these and put them into the uh, desktop but just for the sake of this exercise let's say that we take four of them. So I just click on the 18th there, uh, hold down the shift key, we'll take those four, let that go and I'll just, you can copy them or cut them, but if I copy them, it'll leave them on the tablet, so I'll do that for now. So they're in memory. I'll now go to my computer where I store Aussie Explorer. So it's on my D drive, Aussie Explorer. We'll put them in the data directory for Aussie. And that's the data directory. Again, you see I've got a lot of files stored there from previous trips, and I'll just hit paste. Okay, so there's the four. Uh, daily track plots that we want to use. So I can close that. Now open uh, Aussie Explorer, which I've got ready to go. Uh, I've just put a basic HEMA uh, Australia map up there for you so you can see exactly where the tracks are. We will go to File, Load from File, Load Track from File. You can see it says Multi there, so that'll allow you to uh, load more. It goes straight to the normal data directory into Aussie Explorer looking on the computer and there's the four lots so if I click on each one this time just again hold the shift key down and go open and there they are there so this track here is basically from Melbourne up to Mungo National Park in uh, New South Wales now that is a combination of those four days if we open the uh, track control which is up in the top here show track control there's the four tracks just to make it easy to have a look at the different ones um, you can see they're each um, distance for each track on each day and how many points it recorded um, as it was traveling along so the distance that we from Melbourne to Mungo if you add all those up that's what you're going to get but let's just make life a bit easier. This one here, and I'll split them into different colours. So if we double click on that top track and we just change the colour to yellow like that and hit close, you can see there's the first section. If I scroll in a little bit closer, there's the first section of it where we stopped overnight. Now we'll do the same with the second track. So just click on that one, double click on it, drop down the colour and hit close. So you can see the second part of the track and we'll do the same for the third one and we'll double click on that and just make that white, hit close. Okay, so there you've got four sections of the, of the trip up to Mungo. Now, the idea being turn them into one file that you can just keep so that you could call it Melbourne to Mungo, for instance. The way to do that is to join them together. So if we take um, this option up here where it's got the little cross and the drop down button, you can see join tracks together. And if I click that, a box over opens up over here on the left hand side. This is saying do you want to join track 2, 
to track number one. So track number two would be this one here, which is the second part of the trip, 156 k's, will be joined to track one, which is the first part of the trip from Melbourne. Okay, so let's just do that. Now, keep an eye up here. Uh, the distance in track one is 142 kilometers, and the distance in track two is 156. This 142 will change to about 299 or 300 or thereabouts if you add the two together. So this 156 is going to be added to the 142 as soon as I hit join. So for joining track 2 to track 1, join. Now track 1 is now 299.46. So it's the combination of the two. You can see track 1 has changed. Nothing else has changed down here. And because I've highlighted track one here, it's now highlighting it all the way here to the second night stop. Okay, if I highlight track two, it's still there underneath track one now. Okay, track one has become... So I don't need track two anymore. So at this point, what I'm going to do is clear it from the map. Clear selected track, get rid of that. And all I'm left with is the join of the first two tracks up to the second night. Now I can do the same. This time I want to join this track, number 3, up to track number 1 and add to this 299 another 197. So we should be about 496 kilometres when we do that. But over here you'll notice this is joining track 2 to track 1. There is no track 2 anymore. Now you can change that. I, I've got this highlighted and up on the right I could move this track up to track 2 space and just hit this button and it'll, it'll join it. But just for the heck of it, let's just say this is track 3. So I'll go to the box to the left and increase that number to 3. So now I'm going to join track 3 to track 1. And this distance, as I said, um, should increase by almost uh, just under 200 kilometres. So if we hit that button, and now it's at 496.9. Now this uh, white one is still showing because I've got this highlighted. If I highlight that, you can see now the number one track is going three quarters of the way. So again, I don't need this one anymore. And we'll just clear that one off. And the last thing would be to join track four to track one. Again, you could move this track up if by hitting this button, make it up to track two, but I'll take it back down to track four just for the heck of it. And change this to track four. I want to join track four to track where because you can do this you could you know you could have left those other two tracks there you didn't have to delete them but just to make it clean that's what I've done okay so we're going to join track four to track one so again this should add another 167 k's to this so we should be looking at about what's that 666 something like that when we join this and there it is 664.08 now I can get rid of that one so now all I'm left with on the map is the Melbourne to Mungo National Park track. Now, keep if I hit save now, okay, I'm going to save it over the top of what was the original track one because the name hasn't changed, but I don't really want to do that. I'd like to keep that first part just for the heck of it. So what I'll do is we'll save this track and we will call it, rename it, so you can down here we'll call it um, Melbourne to Mungo and hit save. Now if I delete it, there's no tracks anywhere on the map and we'll close the join box. If we go up, go load from file, load track from file, we're back in the same data directory where we saved it. Now I've got the same four track plots we started with, 18, 19, 20 and 21, that's the dates of August 219 each one and we've got the Melbourne to Mungo one which we've just created. So I've still got track one which is the one that we kept increasing. So if I open track Melbourne to Mungo, there it is. And we could open uh, the original track one just for the heck of it. Uh, track one which was the 18th. Now if I go to the track box, track control, so I've got two of them there now. And if I highlight that bottom one, that was the original track one. So you can do that for uh, you know short trips, two, three, four days, or in fact you can do that for your trip um, that might be right across Australia, which I've got um, traps uh, tracks that I've that I've done 
uh, if I put one in here we might load a track up see if I can find one there was a Burke and Wills trip we did that was the Burke and Wills trip return scroll down the map and there it is there on the Australia map so it just gives you the whole the whole plot which is really handy just to have hope that's been helpful and uh, if you've got any uh, queries or comments feel free to post on the line bye